close your eyes and focus on your breath. When the breath comes in, know it's coming in. When it goes out, know it's going out. Try to notice when the point of just right is in the breath. In other words, not too long, not too short, just like the porridge and Goldilocks. If it's too long, you have a sense that you're breathing in, it's getting tight and uncomfortable. If you breathe out too long, it feels like you're squeezing it. If the breath is too short, you're not feeling nourished by the breath. So experiment for a while to see what feels best right now. And as for any other thoughts, tell them this is not the time. You don't have to follow them, just let them go, let them go. It may feel that you're not free at the moment, that you're hemming the mind in, but you're training it. And that makes it, that's different from being just hemmed in. It's like training an athlete. There are lots of things the athlete has to give up while training for a match so that he or she can perform better at the match. Or some, a more simple example, say you, have a, say you have a collie. If you don't train the collie at all, the collie just kind of runs around. But if you train the collie how to be a shepherd collie, the, child, the collie can do a lot more things it couldn't do before, and it finds it a, a joy and satisfaction in doing things that it couldn't have done before. And it's the same with the mind when it's trained. There are lots of things you can do with a trained mind, a focused mind, that you can't do with a mind that just wanders wherever it wants to. You see this principle all the way throughout the Buddha's teachings. If you adhere to the precepts, it's telling yourself no on certain things. You're not going to kill or steal or have illicit sex. You're not going to lie. You're not going to take intoxicants. It sounds like you're hemming yourself in, but actually you're training the mind to a higher level. And the mind that has this sort of sense of being principled inside can accomplish a lot more than a mind that doesn't. So we'd be willing to submit to a training for a while and find that in training the mind in this way and hemming it in this way, you open up new possibilities that you wouldn't have been able to realize before. So think of this as a different kind of freedom, not just freedom to go wherever you want, but the freedom to master the mind and be able to use that mind for things that an untrained mind can't do. That kind of freedom is a higher level of freedom, and it's really worth pursuing. It's just like the collie that can boss the sheep around. The mind is in control now, and the good parts of the mind, the parts of the mind that want to see something really worthwhile accomplished in life, they're in control. And there's a greater sense of accomplishment, there's a greater sense of joy that comes with that. So look for that kind of freedom in your life, and you find that it really is worth all the effort that goes into it.